In this video, I'm going to show you how to relieve foot cramps in seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can give instant foot cramp relief even within seconds. A note about all of these exercises, they work just a little bit differently. So to get the best results, go through them all, use what gives you the most relief. With that being said, let's get started and fix your foot cramps right now. So let's start with a really easy way to get rid of foot cramps even within 15 to 20 seconds. If you have a lot of foot cramps throughout the day or at night, the first thing that I recommend doing is increasing water intake. Cramping is usually a sign of dehydration, so always make sure that you get plenty of water throughout the day. But another big cause actually comes from an electrolyte imbalance, notably magnesium. And if you've ever taken magnesium supplements for muscle tightness or cramping, you know the pills are large, you have to take a lot of them, and they tend to cause side effects like drowsiness and an upset stomach. That was the case for me. So I found an alternative way to get magnesium in the form of an oil. So you just pretty much spray it over the spot that you're having a cramp. For me, I notice relief within 15 to 20 seconds, but I'm going to show you a way to really take the magnesium oil to the next level. So if you're unfamiliar with magnesium oil, you can get it pretty much at any local health food store. I get it online, it's pretty inexpensive. If you would like to get it online, I will leave a link in this video's comment section and description. Start off by taking your oil and coating the whole bottom of your foot. It usually takes about three sprays. I would recommend rubbing it in on the sides and also on the top of the foot. You want it nice and coated. Once you have it coated, what you'll probably notice is that within about 15 to 20 seconds, you may notice that cramps start to go away. It may take a little bit longer for some people. If you do have low magnesium, you'll probably notice that itchiness forms over the surface of the skin that you sprayed. That's usually a telltale sign that you have low magnesium, and it usually goes away within about five to 10 minutes. And with future applications, especially over the next couple days, you'll probably notice that itchiness goes away as your magnesium levels get better. So everything is nice and coated at this point. Let's do a self-massage to get everything nice and loose and knock out those cramps. So what I'd like to do is just interlock my fingers like this and then put them on the top of my foot for support. We're then going to take our thumbs and start to do a roll rolling motion like this downward towards our heels. We want to roll downward towards our heels so we get circulation going upward towards the heart. I like to do this roughly about five to 10 times and with each repetition, just apply enough pressure in there where you're going to get a very good self massage and then move over a different spot, doing this over the whole foot. You really want to target the spot that you're having a cramp a little bit more too. Like let's say it's right here for me and just keep doing this over and over again until that finally releases and then work your way towards the heel. I would do this over the ankle. I would do it over the Achilles, sides, the arch, top of the foot, everything. Make sure everything is nice and loose. If you have a pretty nasty cramp in there that will not release, I would recommend at that point attacking it at a different angle. So instead of going down with it, hook the muscles like this and then pull off to the side. And I really like to bow my foot when I do this. It just opens it up just a little bit more, those joints of the foot. Give that one a try. You can also go diagonally. You can also do like circular motions. So take your thumbs and just press right in there and do circular motions. This can become pretty intense, so only to your comfort level. But explore the whole area, do different motions, and use what works best for you. If you want a more intense stretch on the bottom of the foot to knock that cramp out, what you want to do is take your fingers right here, grab your uh, toes, and then just pull your foot back. This will really pull right here over the arch of that foot. It's really good for plantar fasciitis. And at that point, you can just take your thumb and do those motions attacking any spot that needs attention. So if you really want to take this one to the next level, we can do what is called muscle scraping or gua sha. You're probably wondering why I have this big metal spoon right here. So for this one, what we do need is a big metal spoon. You want one with a little bit more thickness to it. Make sure the whole foot is coated with that magnesium oil. If you don't have any magnesium oil, no big deal. You can use any massage oils, lotion, 
or creams that are designed to be put on the skin. Just make sure it's all coated on the bottom, top, sides, ankles. We're gonna focus on everything. So let's take our spoon. It doesn't matter what part you use. I like to use the handle, but you can also use the rounded part, the tip, experiment with it. Use what works best for you. But you're just going to angle it roughly 30 to 45 degrees right here below the toes. Apply enough pressure in there where it's going to be a comfortable self-massage and do a slow stroke downward towards your heel. Again, we want the circulation going towards Towards the heart. So we're just going to go over one spot roughly five to ten times, applying enough pressure in there where it's going to be a very comfortable self-massage. And then from there, if it feels pretty loose, just switch over a different spot and do this whole process again over the whole foot. If you have that bad spot where a cramp is at, you'll probably notice that it feels really gritty over that spot. You might have a spot of adhesion. It usually feels like sandpaper. At that point, just keep attacking it and trying to break it up. Another note with muscle scraping, as you do this, you'll probably notice red pockets start to form over the skin. That is completely normal. That's blood flow coming up, which is usually a good thing. It's promoting healing. With this one, again, you can attack it going down with it. You can also go side to side like this. You can do circular motions with the tip or the rounded part. I would just focus all around that muscle cramp doing this over and over again until everything is nice and relaxed. Here's a really easy exercise that can give instant foot cramp relief. For this one, we're going to go next to a door frame or a corner of a wall. Whatever side that you're having a foot cramp, let's say it's my left foot, you're going to take the big toe on that side and place it right at the edge. The other four toes are going to be off to the side and then you're going to slide your foot down and gently press your heel into the floor. In this position you should already start to feel a really good stretch on the bottom of your foot and if you have a really bad cramp this might be enough of a stretch for you. So if it does cause a lot of discomfort what you can do is back off just slightly like this by lifting up your heel but the goal is to press that heel into the floor and then hold this one for about 30 seconds. But if you have a bad cramp, do the best you can through repetitions. Hopefully that cramp will go away and you'll be able to hold this for longer. So once this becomes just a general stretch, you can take it to the next level by bending your knee slowly and pressing it towards the door frame. The more that you go towards the door frame, the more intense this stretch is going to get. You're really going to feel it in your calf, working down into your Achilles, your heel, and also your foot. So once you feel that deep comfortable stretch, again try to hold this one for 30 seconds, release it, and then repeat three to five times. With each repetition just try to stretch into it just a little bit more. If you want to take this one to the next level, you can also do a self-massage with it. So what we need is a soft round object like a tennis ball. Pretty straightforward. We're just going to place the tennis ball right over the spot that we're having a cramp and then we're going to get back into our original position. This time around, gently press the bottom of your foot into the ball where it's going to be a comfortable self-massage not causing any discomfort. And then build back into that stretch. It's, this one just usually feels really, really good. And it's really good also for plantar fasciitis and uh, heel pain. So just try to build into that and if it works out a little bit more definitely give this one a go. Afterwards, if you do have a tennis ball, I would recommend focusing on the full Foot. So I would do a massage like this, just rolling that ball over the whole bottom of the foot, starting towards your toes, going towards the arch right here, over the bottom, and then the heel. Any spot that needs it just a little bit more, keep doing this over and over again until all cramping has gone away. And I do recommend, too, taking your toes right here, really gripping into that ball, like curling them down like this, and then massaging over the ball of the foot, going over the arch right here, and then towards the heel. Here's an exercise that can offer both quick and long-lasting relief for foot cramps. This is going to help strengthen the muscles in and around the foot. It's known as towel scrunches. We just need a medium-sized hand-drying towel, but you can also use a pillowcase. Just lay it at the edge of a bed, but you can also do this on a floor. To get into position, we're going to have our heel off of the towel, but the ball of our foot and our toes are going to be on. Start off by pressing your heel into the bed or the floor and maintain that during this exercise. From here, we're going to try to open up our toes, spread them as much as we can. 
really focusing on taking the big toe, driving it out until you feel a really good activation of the soft tissues around the arch and the bottom of the foot. Once you feel that, press that heel down and now lower your foot and then just curl your toes around the towel like this and then lift the towel up as much as you can. The more that you go up, the more that you're going to feel a lot of fire around the foot. Don't go to the point where it's causing any more discomfort or cramping. If that's the case, back off slightly. Hold this position for a second or two. You're going to relax. On the next repetition, challenge yourself to open up the toes a little bit more and lift that towel up. You want to do this nice and slowly for about 10 to 15 repetitions. But if it feels like you have a little bit more energy, you can always throw in another set or two. A note about this exercise, if you have chronic foot cramping, I would recommend doing this daily to help strengthen those muscles and hopefully prevent those cramps in the future. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.